This video presents a comprehensive methodology named Integrated Modification Methodology IMM, for modeling the relationship between the structure of the system and its performance. IMM is the acronym of Integrated Modification Methodology, an innovative design methodology based on a specific process with the main goal of improving the system's performance through the modification of its constituents and the optimization of the architecture of their ligands. Its approach is fundamentally holistic, multi-layer, multi-scale. IMM recognizes the city as a complex adaptive system, comprised by the synergetic integration of elementary parts, which through their arrangement, and the architecture of their ligands, provides a certain physical and provisional arrangement of the system. It's important to remember that CAS, is a special class of complex system, that has the capacity for adaptation and evolution, through a dynamic between micro and macro level feedback loops, over time. Such systems, consist of agents interacting in non-linearly, and creating networks of connection, so as to act and react to each other's behavior. Through adaptation, agents have the capacity to locally synchronize their states, or activities, and out of these local interaction, the system can self-organize with the emergence of coherent patterns of organization. IMM methodology, is based on a multi-stage process composed of integrated phases, respectively. Investigation, formulation, modification, retrofitting and optimization. As a complex system, build environment is always subjected to change, and at any stage, produces new thresholds of transformation. In this regard, transformation in build environment adopts a non-linear form, which in form is similar to a spiral. The proposed procedure too, is planned in a non-linear arrangement, accurate enough to cross different scales, and flexible enough to maintain the capacity of the system to learn from itself. The process is initiated with the investigation phase, that involves a set of scientific inquiries, into the urban system's structure and properties. Complex systems are recognized to be decomposable in their assembly and arranged in various levels, with a profound mutual relationship between their subsets. Accordingly, the performance of the system is being then evaluated by a set of indicators, and assumptions are being formulated following design ordering principles. In the third phase, modification scenarios are being tested with the same means that the actual context was investigated. The last phase is dedicated to overall optimization through the definition of local retrofitting strategies. IMM is a modification methodology based on identifying the morphology generators of the built environment's behavioral investigating the linkage between the subsystems investigating the logical interactions investigating the hierarchy of scales in IMM, city is a CAS a specific type of complex system, with adaptive and resilience ability, and it's important to notice that, the final performance of a complex system, is different than the sum of its heterogeneous elements performance. The generic morphological subsystems recognized by IMM are namely, urban built up, urban void, types of uses, and links. It's important to highlight that all the systems consist of elements, connections, function, a boundary. However, the key to understanding the city as a complex adaptive system is not its reduction to its parts, 
but is having a deep inquiry into the relationships between parts. Regarding the elementary components, the first two include all the physical elements, such as buildings, parks, roads, canals, parking areas. The latter two, however, are the utilitarian elements like means of transports, or jobs. It is necessary to note that the capacity of the system is resulted from fusing the physical and utilitarian elements together. Now that the components are manifested, the question is how to study their fusing mechanism. According to this view, the city is not solely a mere additive result of the proprieties of the elementary parts, but city's structure emerges by a synergic integration of elementary parts, recombined in a different way that make different organization emerging. Emergence is something new, that can't be described by the description of any elementary parts propriety. Emerging properties, are the product of the synergies between the parts. Hence, city is different than the sum of its elementary parts. So, as we've seen, the configuration of the CAS, is mostly described not just by elementary components, but by the correlation between them. By the architecture of the links, or how the system's components are interrelated, depends the performance of the city. In vertical investigation, each of the four basic components has been asynchronously linked with the others, and gave birth to a number of conceptual attributes named, key categories. In IMM, horizontal and vertical investigation are the first steps of the investigation phase. Horizontal investigation, activates disassembling procedure of the CAS, into its basic physical components. Vertical investigation, investigates the correlations between components, through special features named, key categories, with the role of decoding the patterns of integration, that the basic components make with each other. In IMM, they are the final explanation for the morphologically propelled behavior of the spatial systems, and important operational traits. Key categories, are types of emergence, that show how elements come to self-organize or to synchronize their states into forming a new level of organization. Emergence is something new that can't be described by the description of the parts. Emerging properties, are the product of the synergies between the parts. This process adds value to the combined organization. Seven key categories have been identified by IMM as Porosity Permeability Proximity Diversity Interface accessibility, and effectiveness. Key categories, are the products of the synergy between elementary parts, a new organization that emerge not simply as an additive result of the proprieties of the elementary parts. Emergence, involves the creation of something new, that could not be expected from a description of the part, prior to its creation. There is nothing in a caterpillar that tells you it will be a butterfly. In IMM, the emergence process of interaction between elementary parts to form a synergy, is named, key categories. They are the product of the synergy, between elementary parts, a new organization that emerge, not as additive results of the proprieties of elementary parts. Emergent proprieties, can only be seen as a global structure. In IMM, organization emerges from local interaction of elementary parts. A pattern emerges, 
as result of nonlinear interaction between elements and order emerges from randomness or disorder as components' parts become synchronized through interaction. Trough the key categories, the actual configuration and the characteristics of a specific urban CAS, whenever considered in a provisional state, and effects of an endless transformation process, become clear. Since the study's main concern, is devoted to the urban morphology and environmental performance of the city, the involved subsystems and their specific correlation affects the urban form, as well its performance. The comprehension of the configuration of the involved subsystems and their correlation, play a significant role in the IMM final result. IMM synthesizes a new method for mapping and measuring urban morphology based on reliable metrics, by the use of qualitative maps, quantitative diagrams of correlated metrics, and lists of performance indicators. Moreover, IMM results show that a multi-scale and multidisciplinary approach among systemic fields might help in finding ways and metrics to describe complexity. For a better understanding of the metrics used by IMM to analyze the system, we kindly invite you to watch our tutorials on our YouTube channel, dedicated to the key categories investigation and indicators. Porosity, or void fraction is a measure of the void spaces in a material and is a fraction of the volume of voids over the total volume, between 0 and 1, or as a percentage between 0 and 100%. In IMM, porosity emerges by the combination and the synergetic integration of volume, void, links and type of uses. One can imagine the city as a solid porous volume, sponge-like, with various sizes of holes, linked by linear void layer. Whereby, the integration of these two layers, urban volume and void, as porosities. In general, porosity, is a measure of how much of a solid mass is open spaces. This space can be between grains or within cavities. For a better understanding of porosity in IMM, watch the dedicated tutorial on our YouTube channel. In fluid mechanic, permeability, is a measure of the ability of a porous material to allow fluids to pass through it. Permeability, is related to porosity, but also to the shapes of the porous. In urban studies, permeability, describes the extent to which urban form permit or restrict movement of people, vehicles or material and immaterial flowing. IMM, considers permeability, as a compactness attribute, which quantifies the level of organization of the urban texture, emerging from self-organized and synchronized states between the basic elements of the urban system. Permeability, emerges by the combination and the synergetic integration of volumes, links, voids, type of uses. For a better understanding watch the tutorial on our YouTube channel. Diversity, contributes to complexity and underpins system level robustness, allowing for multiple responses to external shocks and internal adaptations. In IMM, diversity emerges by the synergetic integration of type of uses, volumes, voids, and links. To investigate diversity, is crucial to define the key functions. They are divided in, necessary and regular activities such as, educational facilities, or some government facilities, as, childcare, hospital. On the other hand, the necessary occasional activities are the ones which, the public prefers going, when they need, not as a regular activity, as, some government facilities or banks. Lastly, the optional activities are, the ones as not strictly restricted, 
but as a choice of matter, as, religious buildings, cafes and restaurants. In IMM, interface, emerges by the combination and the synergic integration of, links, voids, types of uses, volume. It is a strong indicator of the quality of movement provided, by the street network and a very important tool for design and efficient urban morphology of street networks. In IMM, Interface, evaluates the level of integration in the network. It gives the precise information, regarding the urban flow. In IMM, Interface is assessed by the calculation of the mean depth, for each individual link. Interface increases the complexity of the system, by increasing the number of possible links to connect two nodes. For a better understanding of interface in IMM, watch the dedicated tutorial on our YouTube channel. Accessibility, can be viewed, in general, as the ability to access, and the possible benefit to some system or entity. In IMM, accessibility, emerges by the combination and the synergetic integration of links, type of uses, voids and volumes. The purpose of conducting accessibility analysis is because by the result, we can understand the uneven distribution of key functions, and transportation nodes. So that, where the weaker parts in term of not easy accessible area in the city could be spotted out. Accessibility, is the number of jobs of key functions area, reachable within 20 minutes, using different public transportation modes. For a better understanding of accessibility in IMM, watch the dedicated tutorial on our YouTube channel. Proximity indicates how the distribution of different types of uses, can easily be reached by the non-motorized traffic in the urban context. It is the number of different type of key functions, in a predetermined distance. In fact, the predetermined area is walkable scale. In IMM, proximity, emerges by the synergetic integration of type of uses, volume, links and voids. Proximity, is highly related to the pedestrian fruition of a space. The number of key functions type that one can reach in walking distance. Key function types are educational spaces, administrative services, entertainment, commercial, business. Despite the fact that the proximity is independent from the number of people and residents in the neighborhood, another possible way to evaluate the proximity of the neighborhoods could be explicated by the relationship between the number of job availability and the number of dwellings within the predetermined walkable distance. Watch the dedicated tutorial on our YouTube channel. Effectiveness defines the capability of producing a desired result in term of the transportation to cover built volumes around it. In IMM, effectiveness, emerges by the synergetic integration of volumes, links, types of uses and voids. Simultaneously, also defines the potential development, within the intermediate scale. A height accessible areas, without any built volumes, which as a result become areas of potential development within the intermediate scale. An area with potential, means that the transportation infrastructure exists, without any volumes around. For a better understanding of effectiveness in IMM, watch the dedicated tutorial on our YouTube channel. How does the complex adaptive system perform? In IMM, a set of hundreds of performance indicators, organized in 12 families, are correlated with the structural system characteristic. Indicators are tools, used in the IMM process, for a rigorous measurement of the system's performance, before and after the transformation. 
Hence, 12 families of indicators are used for achieving this result, and then the same indicators are used in the CAS retrofitting process, necessary for the final evaluation of the system performance, after the transformation occurred. It is important to emphasize that the 12 families of indicators, are also connected with the tools used by IMM to arrange later the structure of the system, and called Design Ordering Principles or DOP. Diagnosis, is the identification of the cause or nature of malfunctioning condition of the system by examination of the symptoms. Diagnosis in IMM, is the final goal of the horizontal and vertical investigation. It provides a full understanding on how and why urban systems perform, and a decision support tool for transformation actions. The image shows the graphic representation of the malfunctioning system of Porto Mara Villa area, in Rio de Janeiro. The black shadows, on the picture composed by overlapping the graphics of IMM as in an X-ray or computerized tomography, shows, the malfunctioning part of the system. The formulation phase, is dedicated to elect one horizontal component, and one key category as catalyzers of the transformation, and consequently to let to the others the role of reactants. Like in a chemical conversion, the catalysts catalyze the other reactants, adjusting the architecture of their joints and transforming the system structurally. The formulation phase anticipates the design one, and it is highly connected with it. The main purpose of the formulation phase is to detect the transformation catalysts. From the selection of one horizontal component and one vertical key category, the reaction of the system starts, driving the local modification and activating the system's transformation. It's clear that, the choice of the catalyst depends on the investigation phase, and based on circumstances and conditions, a component could play either the role of horizontal catalyst, or horizontal reactants. Likewise, key categories could act as vertical catalyst or vertical reactant. DOP, is an IMM acronyms for design ordering principles. DOP, are descriptive guidelines to orient designers toward an awareness of systemic principles in the more complex problem areas, being faced by design teams. They are, a net framework of integrated actions, that provide theoretically guidance for complex system design. They offer, guidelines and a foundation to form a net framework enabling the integration of action for specific design contexts, ordering without centralized coordination. DOP, are tools or instruments, used to arrange the structure of the complex system. In IMM, DOP, are not a fixed list of design recommendations, but a dynamic and active structure of integrated design principles, every time arranged, in consideration of the specific conditions of the system. They are, specifically organized, to deal with the weakness of the system and to modify its malfunctioning parts, responsible of its own actual performance. DOP address the issue locally, and by their local-oriented arrangement they lay the foundation of transformation. It is crucial to consider, that the DOP are associated with the environmental indicators, which are used for the assessment of the actual performance of the complex system. IMM approach to sustainability, is aligned to the UN SDG 2030. Accordingly, with our approach, cities are regarded as complex adaptive systems, and the focus is on simulating their operative mechanisms, involving both the internal subsystems and the external systems, that the cities are part of. 
IMM might be seen as a methodological interpretation of the SDG number 11, suggesting locally based actions robustly linked with SDG indicators and evaluation methods. SDG 11 is entirely about cities and human settlements, and making them inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable. But in one way or another, all of the goals relate to work that happens in cities. So, local authorities and the leaders who run them have a vital role to play in this global effort. The slide highlights the local map of the SDG number 11, its targets and their correlation with the others SDGs single quote targets. Due to the fact that IMM represents a theoretical framework, aligned onto the 17 UN SDGs 2030, for modeling transformation actions in the built environment, and objectively evaluate its response to different intervention scenarios, within the system's boundary, we directly correlated our design ordering principles with the SDG 11 targets. The slide shows how we've directly defined this correlation. In particular, the SDG 11 targets are visible and on by one, they have been matched with IMM design ordering principles. Modification is the third step of the IMM, is a specific design phase, that applies a multi-layer and multidisciplinary approach. The aim of this step, is to make possible the propagation of local changes, towards the distant parts of the system, as a consequence of connectivity, and making this propagation the cause of global change. The modification is driven by the modification of the catalysts, and the response of the reactants, which modifies the architecture of the ligands, thereby activating the reaction that transformed the structure of the system. Like in a chemical conversion, the catalysts catalyzed the other reactants, adjusting the architecture of their joints and transforming the system structurally. Here, some examples of projects driven by IMM methodology. The last step, is oriented towards the evaluation of the performance of the new complex adaptive system, as a new energy using complex system, which is comprised of modified subsystems, in its own new formal configuration. After the retrofitting process, the last phase is local optimization. Once the transformation has occurred, a new complex adaptive system emerged. So, a measurement of the new system, as part of the retrofitting process, starts. The process, is based on the comparison between the performance and characteristics of the new complex adaptive system and the previous one. So, the last step of IMM is oriented towards the evaluation of the performance of the new system, which is comprised of modified subsystems, in its own new formal configuration. Thus, this new configuration will become the new context, available for a new transformation, since the transformation is an endless process. The new provisional system, will be compared with the old one, using the 12 families of indicators, applied in the step 1. A new horizontal and vertical investigation of the new complex adaptive system, modified by the design process, will be repeated to understand the new architecture of the links, and how the new system's components voids, build spaces, type of uses, links are now interrelated, after the transformation process occurred. Then, the result of the horizontal and vertical investigation, before and after the transformation, will be compared, in order to evaluate their characteristic and the result achieved by the project transformation. Here an example of the retrofitting porosity. Then retrofitting permeability and retrofitting diversity. 
again retrofitting interface and retrofitting proximity retrofitting accessibility retrofitting effectiveness the new provisional complex adaptive system will be evaluated and compared with the old one using the 12 families of indicators already applied in the first measurement of the system before the transformation this second measurement evaluates the environmental characteristic and performances of the new system after the transformation process occurred thanks to these 12 families of indicators it is possible to compare the characteristic performances of the system before and after the transformation process moreover the indicators help to lead the complex system transformation in a correct way as well as the results of transformation process the main goals is to make the new system as effective as possible obtaining a further implementation of its environmental performances thanks to a further local optimization process subject to restrictions or constraints that are imposed of course this minor and local change affects again the architecture of the system performance, modifying it structurally another time, but operating with a better control of the previous transformation's reaction. The final result of this optimization process, is still provisional system, that configures itself as the new threshold, of an endless transformation process. Thank you for your attention. We kindly invite you to visit our website at www.indesignlab.com.